Phineas and Ferb's Christmas Vacation. In one of just a handful of episodes set well after the summer, Phineas and Ferb want to thank Santa for everything he's done for them. Meanwhile, Candace is trying to figure out what Jeremy wants for Christmas, and Doof wants a reason to hate Christmas to justify using his Naughtyinator to stop Santa from coming. This is a charming Christmas special that pays tribute to other classic Christmas specials. Doof's basically trying to one-up the Grinch by preventing Christmas altogether instead of stealing it in the act. And all it takes to push him to do this are some annoying carolers. What sort of plan is that anyway? Let's go to a stranger's house and in song form refuse to leave unless he hands over a food dish no one's prepared since the 16th century! Hey, as far as unreasonable demands in Christmas carols go, you're getting off easy. If the person who you sing to can't provide the wassail, you are entitled to his debit card and pin number. Of course, Doof's not alone in finding these carolers annoying. They also find each other annoying. That's do, but it's Christmas, Becky. You gotta get over me, Josh. If there's one criticism I could make, Candace's story is resolved a little too easily. We can skip this one. I already got him what he really wanted. Yes! I guess this whole thing was pretty easily resolved. But you know what? After all the wild coincidences that have made life miserable for Candace over the years, I think she's earned one that makes life convenient for her. Besides, it all sets up the obligatory Christmas special Gift of the Magi scene. Wait, Santa, it's true, isn't it? You planned everything so everyone's Christmas wish would come true. Yeah, Santa was behind almost every moment of this episode, all setting it up perfectly so that everyone would get their Christmas wish. From Phineas's wish to be like Santa, to Doof's wish to find a reason to hate Christmas. I mean, Santa even got Doof the Naughtyinator and then destroyed the Naughtyinator just so everything would go according to plan. Santa carefully orchestrated everything from the top like a benevolent chess master leaving no room for free will, or at least knowing you well enough to know exactly what you will do with your free will. It's a very Calvinist take on Santa. But what do you expect from a show beloved for its intricate comedy plotting? This one's not as long as the later specials, clocking in at somewhere between 33 and 36 minutes depending on which version you're watching. Yeah, there are a couple of different cuts available of this episode, with differences including an entire musical number. Does he want DVD or some video games? Does he want maybe one of those new digital frames? But the differences between cuts aren't really make or break for me. The DVD release has a shorter version, but it makes up for it with great bonus features, including a look at the show's songwriting process. This melody's getting so higher, I'm developing vocal notes! So I'm putting that down higher. in invisible ink for you. Thanks, Wait. I appreciate it. Oh, and if you can, track down the Toys R Us DVD release, which came with an exclusive bonus disc that featured Chronicles of Meep commentaries. Very hard to find, but absolutely worth it. 